friends, it's Odie here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you're all doing great. I am doing pretty good. I'm just sitting here feeling very sci-fi, very galactic with my super shiny t-shirt. Uh, yeah, I bought this last year and I just haven't worn it out enough. So I thought I would put it on for this video. But I think my camera is really struggling with the shininess of my t-shirt and also now that I'm looking at it, I think it might be a little bit distracting. So if it is, my apologies. I just wanted to put on something new, something different, and it's too late for me to change out of it now. So I'm just going to roll with it. But anyways, uh, today I wanted to do a perfume review. I've done one other perfume review in the past. I will link that video down in the description box. I should mention or say that I am not a perfume expert. I'm not a perfume connoisseur. I am just a simple lady who loves to wear perfume and who loves to try out new perfumes whenever I get the chance. And one nice way of trying out different perfumes is with these mini perfume sets. So this one is from Versace. You get four mini perfumes. One of them is falling out. There we go. Uh oh, I just messed up the box. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, you get four mini perfumes. And I actually really like when these perfume brands come out with miniature versions of the full-size bottles. These are just so much nicer to display, so much more fun to pick up and use. I like these way better than like the little tube samples you can buy. What I also really like about this set in particular is that you get individual little boxes for each of the perfumes. So if you wanted to give them out as gifts, you can package them individually and give them out that way. So I actually made a note on my phone <laughs> to keep an eye out for these types of sets because these are going to come in handy for the holidays. So uh, yeah, we'll just get started. Um, I guess I will start with my least favorite and I'll work my way up. Oh, before I do that though, let me just give you like a quick idea of the type of scents that I tend to gravitate towards. So I like perfumes that have a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of fruitiness to them. I know nothing super unique there, very basic, but that's just what I like. In terms of what I don't like in a perfume, I don't like super strong florals, especially rose. Unfortunately, usually rose scented things tend to give me a headache and also super powdery scents tend to, I feel like they kind of irritate my nose. So I veer away from those types of perfumes. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the uh, actual perfume. So at the number four spot, I have here Dylan Blue, and this is what the bottle looks like. So a very pretty navy blue base with the gold top. Now this one, this one was kind of hard because I like that first that first hit, that first note. It's very fruity, a little bit sweet. It's really, really nice. But it very quickly changes direction and it goes into, you know, floral town. Now, the floral scent that I'm left with is not bad, but it's not super exciting. To me, honestly, it just felt like I put like a generic florally scented lotion on and that's what was left on my skin. Again, not bad, but just nothing super unique. I did get my husband to help me out with some of these and uh, he got to smell three out of the four that I have here. And this one was one of them. And he also placed this last place. In terms of its longevity, I actually went on Google to find out how long a good perfume is supposed to last on your skin. And Google says anywhere from three to six hours is actually pretty good. So this one, I would say it's probably like five hours. So I guess that's pretty good. I also went on the Versace website just to get like the the true notes of the perfume. So on the website, it's described as a florally, fruity, woody scent. The top notes are blackcurrant, Granny Smith, Clover Accord, Forget Me Not Accord, and oh gosh, she she Solia. I actually went on Google as well to like figure out how to pronounce all the notes that I couldn't pronounce. I did it, but now I have forgotten it. So now I'm getting a little bit <laughs> embarrassed my apologies the heart notes are eglantine rose 
uh, Petalia, Rosifolia, Jasmine, and Icy, Icy Infusion. This is going to be embarrassing. Uh, the base notes are Styrax, Styrax, White Smooth, uh, Woods, Musk, and Patchouli Core. There was a lot of notes that I couldn't pronounce. That's why I've forgotten all of them. But anyways, I should also say that there's not like a big gap between these perfumes. They're pretty close together in my uh, ranking. Um, so yeah, they're all nice and they're all fine. But unfortunately, one had to be last place. And so it was this one for me. Moving on to the number three spot. So at the number three spot, I have Dylan Turquoise, and this is another really pretty bottle. We have this kind of uh, transparent frosted turquoise base with the silver top. Now this one, when I first smelled it, right away it reminded me of, oh, I can't remember if it's Chanel number five or Chanel, the oh, I can't say it, Mebozelle, Mebozelle. Um, it might be Mebozelle. And while I think that that perfume smells wonderful on other people, I've complimented other people who have told me that that's the perfume they were wearing. Uh, when I tried it on myself, I did not like the Chanel number no. five or Mebozelle, whichever it was. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I did not like that uh, scent on myself. I just found it to be too heavy and it just didn't sit very well on my skin so I thought that I wasn't gonna like this one but pleasantly enough I think this one I get more like citrus from this one and maybe that lightens this up a little bit because when I put this on my skin once it's sat on there for you know a few minutes it's it's actually very pleasant yeah it definitely has more of a citrus that comes through and yeah it just makes it a little bit lighter fresher uh, smelling it's not as heavy as the Chanel one so yeah if you're somebody who you know likes that Chanel perfume on other people but you don't like it on yourself maybe give this one a try you might like this one a little bit more in terms of its longevity um, I would say this one also lasted almost half the day maybe like five hours uh, so not bad unfortunately my husband didn't get to smell this one but I will make sure that he tries it out and uh, I will put down in the comments you know where he ranks this one uh, out of the four. Now this one is described as a floral woody musk. The top note is mandarin essence, lemon prim fiore, fiore essence, and pink pepper. Uh, the heart notes are black currant, uh, buds absolute, jasmine petals, uh, freesia, and guava. The base notes are clear wood, vibrant woods, and musk. So yeah, moving on to the runner up i have here yellow diamond so for this one we have a clear base with a pretty yellow jeweled top now this one when i when i first smelled it from the bottle i didn't think i was gonna like it because to me it felt a little bit too florally let me actually clear my nose palette I'm smelling my uh, my favorite instant coffee. I don't have a fancy coffee making machine, so I just have instant coffee in the morning. And this is my favorite one. My husband actually uh, discovered this. He bought this a few years ago, and that's all I've been drinking ever since. It's really good, but okay, there we go. I think I'm good now. Okay, yeah. So when I, when I smelled this out of the bottle, I didn't think I was going to like it. But once I have it on my skin, it's actually... Again, it's a really nice, light, uh, florally scent. It's very fresh, definitely like a spring and summer scent. It almost has like a little bit of like grassiness to it, but very pleasant, very nice. In terms of the lifespan of this one, this one I would say just barely maybe makes it to the three hour mark. It definitely doesn't last as long as the other two. My husband did get to try this one out and he also placed it at the number two spot out of the three that he tried. On the website, this one is described as a floral, fruity, woody 
top note is citron from Diamante, or citron from Diamante, pear sorbet, neroli, and bergamot. Heart notes are nymphaea, nymphaea, freesia, orange blossom, and mimosa. And base notes are amber wood, palo santo, and musk. Let's now move on to first place. Now, yellow diamond and bright crystal were neck and neck. I had a really hard time trying to figure out which one I liked more, but I think this one edged uh, yellow diamond out just like by a little bit. This is what the bottle looks like. You can't really tell on camera, but the base has like a slightly pink hue to it. And the top is just a clear uh, jewel. This one again, out of the bottle, I, I thought it was okay. Um, again, I didn't think I was gonna like it that much, but once it sits on my skin a little bit, I like it a lot more. Yeah, so this one is still like florally, but it's a, it's a softer floral. It's not as like crisp and fresh as Yellow Diamond. It's just like, I don't know how to say it. It's just a little bit smoother, a little bit softer. It was still very light, very like spring and summer scent. But um, I think because of that, that's why maybe I like this a little bit more. Uh, my husband also put this at the number one spot. So that's kind of nice that my husband and I have very similar uh, scent preferences when it comes to perfume. But in terms of longevity, this one is the same as Yellow Diamond. I think it barely makes it to the three hour mark. And as per the website, uh, Bright Crystal is described as a floral, fruity, musky scent. Top note is yuzu, iced accord, and pomegranate. Heart note is peony, magnolia, and lotus flower. And base note is acaju, uh, uh, vegetal, vegetal, amber, and musk. So overall, I do like this perfume set. Although these perfumes are not super like unique or different, they are really nice. You know, they're not strong. They're not offensive. They're just you know, pleasant, kind of nice. I don't want to say basic, but that's the word that keeps coming to mind. They're not basic. They're just like, I feel like universally pleasant scents that most people I feel like would enjoy. And if it's not like someone's perfect uh, scent, um, these are also really nice for layering. Um, so yeah, if you guys have tried these perfumes, let me know which one is your favorite. Or if you tried any other of the Versace perfumes, let us know down in the comments. Because yeah, I'm actually curious to try more from Versace since these were, these were pretty nice. So uh, yeah, that is it for this review. I feel like I just said yeah like five million times. My apologies. But uh, anyways, I hope you found this review helpful. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, please take care and bye.